Hi, welcome to Brush and Sketch Draw a Zoo. Today I have a great big bear to draw and I know you're going to find this one really fun. I always love looking at the bears at the zoo. They do such funny tricks. Um, go ahead and get your sketchbook out and your drawing pencils and we are ready to begin. Today I'm using my HB drawing pencil and when we do the darker lines I'm going to use the 2B. Now if you only have one regular pencil that is totally fine and if you don't have a sketchbook but you just have a piece of paper that works as well. So let's start by drawing the shapes because we know shapes are super important when you're drawing something and I'm going to start by drawing a very light circle. Now, the circle is going to be about right there on my page. Just a regular old circle as best as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just draw a circle. Now, there's a lot of circles involved in drawing a bear, so pay attention. The next circle is kind of an oval, and we're going to put it right here, like that. Kind of out of the side of that first circle that we drew. All right, now the next one is right in front of this one, and it's a medium-sized circle that goes about right there. Lots of circles so far. You'll see them all come together in a minute. All right, the next one we're going to do back here. It's an oval that comes right off the back of this first circle. And then we're going to do another one that's just a little bit smaller right at the front. Good job. Now right beside this one, we're gonna do another one that almost reaches out and touches this circle right there. See how it does that? So we got one, two, three along the bottom and then two here at the top and that great big one we started with. Okay, a couple more and then we'll be ready to do some different shapes in case you're getting tired of circles. I'm gonna put a smaller circle right here at the front on top of this one. And then on top of that, even a smaller one. Okay, great job so far. All right, let's do a few more shapes. Now I'm going to draw kind of a rectangle with an angled line just coming off of the bottom of that circle. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. And this one here is just gonna get two little lines off the bottom of it like that. It's kind of hard to tell what this is so far, isn't it? But don't worry, it will come together. Now, at the bottom of these shapes, I'm going to draw a little hump. I'm just gonna do a shape like that down like that. Now this is the bear's feet, if you haven't noticed already. And so straight down, across, like that. Almost looks like we're putting shoes on him, doesn't it? <laughs> Bears don't wear shoes though. Last time I checked, they didn't. All right, now there's another shape that we need to do right here from the middle in between these two circles. And it's gonna be similar to these lines that we did before, but we're gonna come down and down like that. And again, put another foot shape on the bottom of that. Now, that's his back leg, it's at the back of him there. Okay, couple more shapes and then we're ready for the darker pencil. I'm going to put a half circle, almost a circle, I guess it's a little more than a half right there. And then another one just like it on the other side. And that's our bear's ears when we get to it. Good job. Okay, and now a little triangle just off the back like that. And that will be his tail when we get to it. Good job. Okay, now it's time to get out the dark pencil and we're gonna put all of this together. Are you ready? Let's start with the bear's face. We're going to come around. We're gonna start at this ear right here and we will come around with our dark pencil and just follow that line that we made like that. And this here, this big circle right here is his nose. And so I'm gonna trace that 
And then I'm going to color it in with my pencil, but I'm gonna leave a little part of it not colored. See that little sliver that I didn't shade? That kind of makes his nose look like it's wet and shiny. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now from the bottom of the nose, I'm gonna bring a line straight down to that circle and then come up and around like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's gonna come down to the circle and then up and around to hit the nose. Great job so far. Now let's just join this little line here at the bottom and you can add, you could color that in if you want to with his bottom lip. You could even draw a tongue if you wanted to too. All right, let's put some eyes on our bear and we're gonna use circles for eyes. I'm gonna put one little circle right here and then the other little circle over on this side right there. You can color those in. You can add eyebrows if you want, however you want to do that. Great job. Okay, now I'm gonna come along the bottom of our bear's chin and again, I'm just gonna follow that first circle that I drew and bring it up and around right to the ear. Now let's trace that ear. And I'm gonna add another line just along the inside of the ear to make it look deeper, look a little bit cupped like our bear is listening. Now I'm not gonna do that on the other side because this is the back of the ear that we're seeing on that side. Do you see now how it's starting to look like a bear? All right, let's do the bear's body. I'm going to start right here behind the ear and I'm gonna draw a line that comes up and over this hump, this circle. And then I'm gonna connect it right to the back one here like that. See how I did that? And then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna add a little bit of shagginess to his tail like that. And there we have the top of the bear. Okay, now to come down along the back, again, I'm just going to join those two circles together and come all the way down to where the leg is like that. Good job. Okay, now let's do the top here. I'm gonna start under his chin and then I'm gonna kind of attach this front circle to his head and I'm gonna make his leg a little bit shaggy Add a little bit of a shaggy spot there and come down to his foot. Great job. Okay, now over here, I'm gonna start right here and come down and again down to his foot. All right, we're getting all these lines taken care of. Let's do the back one now too. Again, I'm gonna start about right here, not all the way around, but about halfway around and add some shagginess and come all the way down and bring it right down to the foot. And how about we do that with that back line as well too. Great job. Okay, let's take care of the other side. We're gonna come down to the floor. And this one, I'm gonna start up here, maybe add a little bit of shagginess and come down to the floor. And now here's his tummy. Let's start from here. We're gonna ignore this shape for a minute and go all the way across to that one, just putting that line in. And then we'll get that back leg in, coming down to the floor. Great job. I think I'll bring that one down to the floor too. We are almost finished. Okay, now for the big bear paws. What I'm going to do is bring this line out and then I'm gonna kind of curve this bottom line. I drew it straight with my light pencil, but I wanna make it a little bit curved like that. So I'll come down and curve, down and curve, and again, down and curve. Now, we've got a lot of lines to erase. So let's do that first, and then there'll be a couple more things we're going to do. All of these circles we did inside of the bear can go. You see that? We're only keeping the dark lines. And when I get rid of the lines on the top of his feet shapes, then he doesn't look like he's wearing shoes anymore, does he? He actually looks like he's got big bear paws. Okay, and there's a few lines in the face that can go too. 
Lots of lines there, very good. All right, let's do a few more things to get us done. Now we know bears have big sharp claws. And so I'm going to do a couple little triangles coming right out of the front of each of those paws. And I kind of made them real skinny so they look like they're colored in. Look at those bear claws. There, great job. And then I'm gonna put a few dots right here under his nose because sometimes bears will have whiskers there. And there you have it, a big bear for your zoo. Go ahead and draw your bear, take a picture and post it in the comments on our Facebook page so I can see the bear that you drew. Like and subscribe on YouTube and watch closely for the next animal to add to your zoo. Have a great day.